Hello, my Geminis. My name is Psychic Gigi. I'm going to be doing a mini love reading for my Geminis, Sun, Moon, and Rising, as well as my cross watchers. Please like, share, and subscribe to my video if you would like a personal, more in-depth reading with me. My information is listed below. So let's go ahead and start off with um, one oracle romance angel card for my Gemini sun, moon, and rising. And let's see what spirit has for us. It's for, for our Geminis. So it's, a keep, it's about keeping an open mind. And with keeping an open mind, your soul may, may, might just differ from your usual type and expectations. Um, and I, I have to tell you, I found a lot of people who have this idea of focusing on what they feel their soulmate is supposed to be about, or is supposed to look like, or is supposed to act, or is supposed to be, or how much, you know, whatever the, the criteria is for your specific soulmate, you do need to keep in mind that it, everyone is different, and we have to allow everyone to be themselves, and also accept them um, as they are, and who they are. Okay, let's go ahead and do just a quick shuffle. I've already shuffled the deck prior to starting this video, but we are going to jump right into our reading. So, okay, the first card that we have is the Three of Wands. So, the Three of Wands in regards to um, a love reading, it's about moving forward, success, and being happy with your choices. So, your relationship should be going well when you do when I do see the three of wands but it also represents moving travel um, with with um, your partner or this could be just you traveling alone um, for some of you that are single the three of wands indicates that you will be enjoying your freedom of being single like experiencing life and spreading your wings it can also represent a ho again the holidays are coming up so this could be somebody coming into your life or it's just it's going to be be a, a holiday um romance so be mindful of that my readings normally go out for the for between 30 and 90 days just so you guys know the next card that i have is the high priestess upright this is um so the high priestess signifies that you could be calm infatuated with someone that you met but I I do want you guys to be um, I would like you guys or, or you're feeling or there you could be infatuated you could be infatuated with somebody or somebody could be infatuated with you but there also is a need to um, question their motives and pay attention to anything that makes you feel uncomfortable. Um, if you're in a relationship, you can expect uncontrollable emotion, emotional outbursts. Like somebody might have like a motive behind what they're doing. In this, honestly, this could be as a result of just high sexual tension being built up and not taking that time to be intimate with each other. Um, the next card that I have is the temperance. So the temperance upright is all about balance, being sensible, but at the same time, whenever I see the temperance, especially after the, after the high priestess, don't make assumptions so just take a step back but it also signifies a lot of harmony and around your relationship you might find that your you might find that you or your partner finds a, a much more balanced um 
respect, love, and commitment for each other. Some of you that are that might be single, you might have done this. Okay, so for those of you that you are single, once you have um, balanced yourself out in other areas of your life, you you are allowing. Um, more room for a loving partner to come into your life. So once you've done this, you will attract the right partner for you. The next card that I have is the Ten of Cups. This represents family, happy, happiness in around the family, the home. There's children. There's, you know, uh, celebration. But this also signifies that there's a strong commitment. Um, it's, it represents unity. You guys are, you're, you're, like there's a happiness. It's, it's a happy family. Um, and you're in a relationship for the long term. This, this Ten of Cups could possibly lead to marriage. And I do feel like for some of you, it will be a soulmate connection. So things should be going very well when I do get this um, type of energy. But it also represents happy and har and like a lot of harmony in, in around the relationship. Not just with the, the two of you as you are standing there together holding on to each other, but also people around you. And I'm not saying you're going to get along with every family member, by the way, because we all have different personalities and um, there can always be that one that um, creates a little bit of chaos. But I'm not seeing that right now. So let's not even get into that. Um, it also indicates that there may be a reunion um, in the future. So if some of you are single, it could also indicate that you're starting a new long-term relationship, which will give you the security and the stability that you're looking for in a relationship. The next card that I have, a King of Wands, this could be your new man, or it could be somebody that you reunite with, um, Gemini, so keep your eyes, your ears, have an open mind, an open heart. Um, with the King of Wands, this type of energy that I'm getting from this reading, this person is very energetic, they're, they're experienced, they're optimistic, they're confident, strong, friendly, funny, very charming. Um, they do have a way with their words, by the way. <laughs> um, but they're more attracted to an independent strong um, woman and or man, whichever um, gender you want to, um, whichever gender that relates to you with. So there, you can't restrict their freedom. They, they, with the King of Wands, they feel emotionally overwhelmed and will cut off quickly and run for the hills if they feel like they're being trapped, restricted, or or if there's any type of control in around the relationship. So that's something to be mindful of um, when you are dealing with this person. At the same time, they have warm feelings for you and they're very protective of you. If you are single, the King of Wands indicates that you will meet somebody with some of the qualities that I just um, outlined for you. Just be mindful that they do need their freedom. So if you want to have a long lasting relationship with them, it does indicate that you need to keep your life busy in other areas as well and enjoy the freedom to allow them to have their freedom. So just kind of being more balanced in and around the relationship or when you're dealing with this type of energy, it's, it's super important. The next card that I have is the Queen of Cups Reverse. So the Queen of Cups Reverse, again, some of you um, 
can be um, kind of allowing your insecurities or your lack of trust to affect your relationship. This can create this. This could be that you you might be a little too clingy, too needy. Again, you're giving an opportunity to um, with my reading to show you the direction and also the knowledge of how to deal with this particular person. I I do recommend that you. Um, Say it. So I do recommend that you do give this person time and space because if you cling on to them, you can get the opposite effect. And it's definitely it's definitely representing take some time out and deal with any issues and find your own inner balance before you. Um, make any quick decisions so um yeah i gotta tell you gemini you need to give them their time and their space i'm not saying that you have to like see them once a week or just never call them or never contact them but you know just give them their 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 time and space if this is somebody new coming into your life or if this is somebody current in your life you need to allow them to have their freedom and it's not, I, I, it's not somebody who's not providing you the security, the suitability that you want. It's somebody that's actually give, they're offering you their love and want to give you your love. But at the same time, they need to maintain their happiness as well. Again, this can be you or someone else. So if this relates to you, relates to your partner, um, or it can relate to um, one of my cross watchers. At the bottom of the deck, I have the Six of Cups upright. The Six of Cups upright simply indicates that you and your partner um, could be childhood sweethearts. Um, but it also indicates that there could be some problems and, and issues that are being caused in the relationship by either you and or your, either you or your partner immaturity so the relationship could be held back because you're yearning for a past love maybe somebody that you knew in the past that you that was your childhood sweetheart and it's kind of influencing your current relationship now which is creating some argument arguments if you're single the six of cups um, signifies a past lover is coming back into your life. So be prepared, Gemini. Um, because I do see the two of you becoming romantically involved and finding love in, in, in an area where you grew up. And I don't know why that just came in, but it did. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. My Geminis, please like, share, and subscribe. If you would like a personal, more in-depth reading, um, my information is listed below, and um, I am available for privates. Please like, share, and subscribe, and love and light to everyone.